what you're doing. Mixing sugar and cinnamon. Why? I don't know. Why do you think? Is it by any chance because we're making the Disneyland churro recipe? Yeah. Yeah. So we're still on lockdown at the minute. We've been doing, I say we, Danielle's been doing a lot of baking. And Disney released the recipe for their Disneyland churros. So we decided why not have a go and share with you how it goes. So, what all do we need? A quarter teaspoon measurement. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you put them? I put them away over here. Yeah. I need a quarter teaspoon measurement. It's one of them. So, the recipe asks for one cup of water, eight tablespoons of butter, a quarter tablespoon of salt, which we're just using salted butter instead, a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, divided because you use it in multiple places, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, no one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, three eggs, one and a half cups of vegetable or canola oil, and one quarter, ah oh, no it's gone, cup of sugar. Danielle's away to check on Thea who's currently napping. And we need two pans, one to make the dough in and one to cook it in. So I'm pretty sure we can just pour the oil into this pan for now. Oh, those jars need water. So we'll put all our oil in there and that should hopefully be deep enough to fry them in a little bit. Oh, one more thing we'll need, an icing bag and a large star attachment. Here's the plan, I will read you the instructions and you can do them. So, combine water, butter, salt, and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon in one and a half quarter saucepan over medium heat. So, fun fact, we couldn't get cinnamon. No one can get cinnamon anywhere. Well, ground cinnamon. So we bought cinnamon sticks and we're able to grind it in our spice grinder. I don't know, I think it's just loose from the rest of them. Okay, on the heat it goes, medium heat. Give it that hot Yeah, that hot not very good. What else? Butter, cinnamon. So add water, butter, salt, and one quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. So we don't need salt. In a saucepan over medium heat and bring to boil. We are getting there. So the next thing that we need to do is bring pot to rolling boil. Reduce heat to low, add flour and stir vigorously until mix forms a ball. Remove from heat unless to rest for five to seven minutes. So add the flour while it's still on a low heat? Yeah, but after it's been a rolling boil. <gasps> Look who's decided to join us. Hello you. Hello. What's up? What's wrong Papa? butt? You okay? You a good boy? Yes you are. You're a good boy. I love you too. Look who's awoken and decided to join us. Are you helping? You gonna help? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yes. She seems rather calm. How are we doing? I think we just need it to oh. bring to the boil. Okay, we're getting there. Oh, sleepy, big yawn. Oh, I know. You got the sleepy baby. The air is all fastened and secured to help. Yes, you are. There's Jarvis. Right, so. It says just to add the flour, so I'm presuming you just add it all at once. Let's find out. So add flour and stir vigorously until mix forms a ball. Remove from heat and let to rest five to seven minutes. Does that look interesting, does it? <laughs> Hello. That's a good girl. Do you want to swap? Not yet. Okay. Probably soon. Oh, it's getting there, it's getting there. And Danielle's persisting. <laughs> you okay? You tooting away? You tooting away, little miss. Okay. The next thing that needs to be done is to... Okay, so... Until it forms a ball, remove from heat and let to rest for five to seven minutes. So, is that a ball? Nearly. <laughs> Okay, that's a ball. Okay, so off the heat and rest for five to seven minutes. 
So the recipe asks for one egg. You right? One egg to be added at a time. So Danielle's just getting them prepped. And there is a minute left in our timer before we can add these. What do you have to say to you? What are you saying? What are you saying? You're a big girl now. How old are we? We are 11 weeks today. today. 11 weeks today. Unbelievable. Yes, you are. I think you're getting hungry. We'll sort that soon. Okay. Timer is up. So you know, sorting the last egg. And I have been sorting the oil, getting it started. Is that funny? So the oil is starting to heat up. And I'm just setting up the thermometer. There we go, 60. So it needs to be 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's bung that in there and let that rise. So next thing for Danielle to do is to add the eggs one at a time and stir until combined. This does not look easy. Egg number three in. This looks like a very odd mixture. Just to show you what this is looking like. Cast out. It's strange, there's like big slabs of mixture. There we go, it's getting there, it's getting there. Oh, that looks better. And that looks more like it. Oof. So, next job. You take this. Mix. Spoon dough into piping bag with a large star tip. Pipe one inch of star, one inch strip of dough over saucepan, cut with knife and drop into hot oil. Repeat until churro bites fill saucepan with room to fry. So we're going to fill this baggie <laughs> and see how this goes. Do you, do you need me to hold the bag or something? No. Okay. We also have a bowl with cinnamon and sugar for tossing them in. And we have a baby. Hello you. Yes, hello. How much? Hello. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> oh, we nearly lost it all. So, Danielle has the mixture. We have the oil. We have a paper towel on a plate to collect all. And we have a thing for getting them out. I'm going to come over this side. And we're gonna watch Danielle try this. I don't know, do you want me to do it? No, I think it's a two-person <laughs> Okay, right. <laughs> it's squeezing. Have you got the strength for this? To not shake the bag while it's being squeezed? Look at the bag! There's lots to go through here. <laughs> I think these are definitely turning into mini churro bites. <laughs> Each other. Well, move them out a bit. Look at the bag, it's gonna explode. Oh dear. Stop. Right, you want to swap? Yeah. Right, okay. It's hard, isn't it? Come here, but I'm trying not to burst the bag. So was I. We have a bulge down here. <laughs> At what point do you want to start fishing ones out? I don't know, I feel like those ones could be almost ready. But how are you supposed to know? How are you supposed to fish out? The good ones. The cooked ones. <laughs> They're getting longer. Oh my days. This is not... I told you it was hard. <laughs> it's also very hot at the bottom. Fish these about a wee bit, spread them about a wee bit. There we go. Yeah. Right. This one's done. This one's done. <laughs> these are the smallest churros in the world. We don't have a bigger star. We don't have a bigger star now. That was the biggest star. 
Well, that turtle bites. You laughing? How do you get them out without getting all the sugar on them? I don't know, a fork. <laughs> yeah, a fork. Don't you dick, don't you dick, don't you dick. Mm. I think they're going to be cooked for too long. Crispy. Yeah. I like it. Alright, we'll come back to you whenever we've got the rest of these done. I wanted to show you that we've got our method down. Squeeze and snip, squeeze and snip, squeeze and snip. Squeeze and snip, squeeze and snip, and yeah. always move to surprise the Yella. <laughs> okay, bit of a happy accident. The pipette at the end, or whatever you call it, came off. <laughs> I don't know. The tip came off, so we're now making big long ones. Okay, that'll be enough. Okay. And here is the finished result. You can see the size difference in the teeny tiny ones from the start. That's not even the teeny tiny ones, that was a medium one. <laughs> yeah, and the big ones towards the end where we just took the, um, what's it called? The tip. The, the tip, the, the, the shape thing. thing. Yeah, the shaper <laughs> thing, whenever we took that off the end of the bag and just let it squeeze out the bag. So. We've already tried the little ones. I think they're really good. Well. The big ones are really good. Mm. Um, the little ones are a bit, just nothing <clears throat> but crunch. Overdone. And are a bit overdone. Because they're so small. Yeah, but these big ones are definitely worth making, I think, I'd say. Mm. They could maybe have been done a, a little, little bit longer. longer. Mm. I quite like them a bit underdone. But yeah, experiment and try it yourselves. Um, we will attach the recipe to the description. And we hope you enjoy. Yeah, little miss is going to sleep. Little miss doesn't believe in nap times. No. So I say that was fairly successful bake. We like them. The big ones are good. Little ones, meh. Mm. Um, Look at the fluffy now. There. Fluffy. Yeah. So uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>